Ms. Sampada Bodke, and the title of this, her thesis is 3D printing piezoelectric energy harvesters under uh, thesis advisors Daniel Terrio and Frédéric Gosselin. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, piezoelectrics are those materials that can generate electricity by pulling, pushing, squeezing, twisting, and bending them. This is why they find great application in energy harvesting where they are, we can use them to harvest energy from vibrations, blowing winds, and flowing water. Now, how many of us have heard about piezoelectric trees? This is the future of energy harvesting where the kinetic energy of the wind is used to convert it into electricity. This is a noise-free and bird-friendly approach as compared to the huge wind turbines. Also, it is so simple and economic that you can install one in your backyard. But in the current scenario, the use of piezoelectric materials is restricted to rectangular shape and this leaf stalks. This is because the inability of the manufacturing techniques to form aerodynamically complex three-dimensional shapes. To start with, in my PhD, I would like to produce artificial 3D printed grass, which would, which would use a material called PVDF, which is a soft polymer and has a similar texture like the grass. So, this grass would generate electricity when the wind blows over it and when people stamp on it. And if placed on roadsides, it would be enough to power traffic lights and signboards or power decorative LEDs in soccer fields. Now, going by the conventional method and using piezoelectric films, it would be a tedious task to craft each leaf and then put them together one by one. Imagine how long would it take to cover a huge soccer field. This is where 3D printing comes into picture. Now, in our lab, we have been successful to print any kind of three-dimensional complex shape using polymers. We can print from layer-by-layer -layer structures to even spring-like structures without using any support. This is done by using a simple phenomena called solvent evaporation. Now, what I need to do is make a rapidly evaporating solution from the polymer PVDF and a conductive ink. Put them together in a syringe and then print them using a robotic arm in the shape of a grass. Now, the conductive ink will directly provide for the electrical connections. Also, if multiple arrays of this kind of uh, nozzles are put together, it would be a simple process and can be scaled directly to large-scale production. 